Hello, my name is Nick Cohen. I'm a family doctor and I'm here to share with you some tips for people with insomnia. Tip number one, one of the most important things when you're having difficulty sleeping is to keep a regular sleep schedule. This means setting an alarm clock to wake up at the same time every day, even on weekends. Tip number two is to avoid naps. Avoid napping during the day and limit your sleep only to the nighttime. Tip number three is don't try to force sleep. If you can't fall asleep within the first 20 minutes, get up, out of bed, go to another room, and do something that's relaxing to you, like listening to soothing music or reading. You should avoid activities during this time which stimulate you or reward you for getting up such as eating or balancing a checkbook, doing housework, watching TV, or studying for a test. After, the, after you've relaxed with reading or uh, listening to soothing music, try to sleep again. And if you can't sleep within 20 minutes, get up again, out of bed, leave your bedroom, and do again a relaxing activity. And keep doing that until you're successfully able to go to sleep. Tip number four is to exercise every day. It's important to exercise at least 30 minutes every day of the week, if on most if not every day of the week, in a total of seven days. This is not only good for your health in general, but it will also help you sleep better at night. Tip number five is not to smoke. Again, smoking is bad for your health in general, but it also can make sleeping difficult, especially when it's on later in the day. Tip number six is to avoid caffeine. The recommendations are that you avoid caffeine after lunch, um, and this might be necessary, but at best avoid caffeine about, for about six hours before going to sleep. Tip number seven, use your bed only for sleep and sex. Don't watch TV in bed, don't read in bed, eat in bed, or worry while you're in bed. Make an when you are in bed and ready to go to sleep, make your bed and the area around you as least distracting as possible, as dark as possible, and with as little noise. Tip number eight, cognitive behavioral therapy. If you're unable to get a sound night's sleep with the above recommendations, then you can consider cognitive behavioral therapy. Usually this requires you seeing a doctor who can refer you to see a cognitive behavioral sleep specialist. The idea with um, cognitive behavioral therapy, you attend about eight to 10 sessions once a week for about eight to 10 weeks. And you'll first of all deal with the barriers you might have psychologically to getting a good night's sleep. And then you'll learn useful techniques for how to get a good night's sleep. This has been shown in multiple studies to be successful in helping people achieve um, an, a good night's sleep. Tip number nine is cognitive behavioral therapy plus medication. If cognitive behavioral therapy is, is not successful, um, then working closely with a doctor, you could consider medications to help you sleep. Typically, these medications are, are used for a short time, like six to eight weeks. And at the same time, you should be doing your, the cognitive behavioral therapy. And then um, the dose should be lowered on the medication and they should be stopped after those first two months and then used perhaps as needed in the future, but not on a scheduled basis. The medications and the side effects are important to know about, so it's important to talk to your doctor, basically fall into two classes, one that helps with people who have trouble falling asleep, and the other is medications that help with staying asleep. Um, reviewing the literature, the two that I found that are um, best for people who have trouble going to sleep, um, best because they have the lowest amount of side effects, uh, are Zolpidem, which is called Ambien, and Ramelteon, which is called Roser Roserin. Um, these are, Ambien is, are, is taken 10 milligrams a day, and the cost is, it's, it's less expensive than Ramelteon um, at 50 cents a pill. 
Now, Ramaltion has fewer side effects, probably the least side effects of any sleep medication, um, but it also has the most, it's also one of the more expensive ones. It costs about $5 a pill. If you have trouble staying asleep, then the recommendation is that you take a longer, act, a longer acting medication. And the one that I found consistently in a review of the literature to be most effective is Zolpidem extended release, although I only found this for $5.50 a pill, so this is an expensive medication to, to consider. And tip number 10 is to believe in yourself. Insomnia is a problem that you can overcome working closely with a, with a doctor and perhaps a cognitive behavioral therapist and perhaps even with the help of a medication. So I hope this advice helps you and good luck. Thank you.